Hi, it's Granny Tesla, and today I'm going to let the car drive itself. I got a letter the other day from Tesla offering full self-driving supervised for one whole month. Well, of course, you know, Granny Tesla had to try it, and I'm not going to try this by myself. I've got my husband in the car, and you're coming with me, so let's go for a ride. All right, before we start off, let me tell you how I started the uh, full self-driving. If you look at my screen here, you kind of go to where the car is there and then go to autopilot and then it's right there, full self-driving. And then there's the disclaimer. Now keep in mind, this is not full autonomous. You still have to pay attention. You still have to be in charge of your car and make corrections in case the car isn't doing what it's supposed to be doing. So let's say we're going to do that, which we are, because we want to make sure we're all safe. We're going to hit yes, and we're ready to go. Hold on, let me put my glasses on. All right, we're in a parking lot here. We're going to get out of the parking lot, and then I'll turn on full set driving. All right, this is going to be scary. <laughs> Very scary. This isn't the scary part. We're just backing up. I'll let you know when it gets scary. All right, here we go. Now to enable full self driving, I just hit the right stalk twice. There it goes. Whoa, okay. It's it's doing the speed limit plus a little bit more because that's why I have it designed. Uh, it's doing 34 miles an hour. It's supposed to be doing 30, but that's okay. We're gonna be passing the police station and if they don't pull us over, we know we're in good shape. Well, a couple of miles over the speed limit keeps tailgaters off your tail. <laughs> That's true. Because, as you know, everybody drives what they call the gentleman's speed limit. Oh, which my goodness. Is a couple over. Oh, it's stopping for the red light it, on its own. Yeah, which is a oh, good wow, thing. Oh, wow. That's good. <laughs> That's a good thing. And it's okay. Stopping uh, very gradually, I see. Yes, yeah, so it wasn't like a sudden stop, which is good. All right. Now, we're in Tequesta. If you know anything about Florida, it's the town just north of Jupiter. We're going to be driving through Jupiter. Jupiter was once known as Burt Reynolds. Oh, what's taken off by itself? Wow, well, it knew the light turned green. <laughs> I know, it's pretty crazy. All right, there's a turn here. Okay, it's slightly slowing down. I wonder if it like goes really slow when it goes past the police station. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> or a police car. Or a police car, That's yeah. That's more important. That's true. All right. Okay, this is, uh, all right, it's, it's doing okay. Now, I drive with autopilot a lot, so I'm used to knowing how autopilot feels, and right now on this road, it feels like autopilot. Of course, I'm keeping my hands on the steering wheel because, just in case, I have to take over. It's slowing down again for this stoplight. It stops pretty early. Yeah, it does. Right now, we're in a zone where there's not a whole lot going on, but we're heading to much more traffic, and there'll be a lot more things to see what it'll do. Yeah, and there's going to be some construction. Okay, so, so here we go. It knows that car hasn't gone, so it goes. Yes, which is a good thing. But at some point, somebody's going to jump the gun a little bit and pull in front of you, and then it'd be interesting to see what it does then. Yeah. Uh, now, do you have a destination program? I here? will, I will, once I get to US 1. So we're in, in Tequesta, and oh, wow, it knows the UPS truck is there. Let's see what it does. Uh, okay, so. Oh my goodness. It knows that there's room to get in front of it. Oh wow. my goodness. That's impressive. <laughs> it didn't run over the UPS guy. It didn't run over the UPS okay, guy. Okay, now oh, we get a little construction, construction here, so let's see what it does here. Uh, it slows down. That's a good thing. It sees that it's clear through the oh, air. Oh my goodness so gracious. It's avoiding obstacles that aren't programmed into its database. Okay, now here is the railroad tracks. Okay, it's going to make a right turn. Oh no, it's not going to make a right turn. It's What's gonna, it doing? It's going to go straight. It's going right? to go straight. Let's see if it stops by the traffic light. I don't know why it went over to the right lane. I don't have it programmed yet for a destination. We're going to stop further up ahead and I'll program it for a destination. Okay, so it stopped before the railroad tracks. That's a good thing. And it won't go over like these guys are doing. True. Now, the green... Oh, oh here, here comes, comes the, the train. train. Oh, that's oh. a good test, isn't it? Let's see what happens okay. now. I'm going to just keep my foot by the brake, just yeah, in case. Yeah, just in case. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. 
Rosie can do this. Rosie's the name of my car. All right, it's okay. And where's the train? I hope it's the quick train. I hope it's the bright line. All right, let me go back and tell you a little bit about where we're going. Uh, we're going to be driving into Jupiter. Jupiter has become um, the place to be. It was originally known as Burt Reynolds' home. And where, here comes the train. And uh, Tequest is the town just north of it. Here comes the bright line. Okay, we didn't get hit by a train. But over the last couple of years, Jupiter has been known for the golfers that are now living in Jupiter. Some are living in Jupiter Island, which is the fancy place to be, and some are living in Jupiter. All right, the lights went up, let's see what happens. Uh, okay, so those cars went already, but we still got a red light and the car is not going. <gasps> now it's going. It really judges by what the, um, the lights do. Yes. And like, right. like a student driver would be with an instructor in the car. All right, now we're gonna drive through a little bit of Tequesta, and then we're gonna go to Jupiter. Now, the main road, US-1 here in Jupiter, is under construction. There's a bridge that goes over the intercoastal, and they knocked it down about a year and a half ago, and they're rebuilding it. So there's a lot of construction, <laughs> a lot of construction, and we're gonna see how this car does under construction. Okay, we're making the turn onto US-1. There's some traffic coming. Let's see if he stops. He stopped. That's good. Okay. Oh, it's going now. It's not going as fast as I wanted to go. So I took over. I'm putting it back into auto, uh, full self-driving. You see all the cranes ahead? Okay. We're going to deal with all this construction. There's a whole detour. We're going to end road's going to end and we're going to go to the right so let's see how well it does and my hands are on the wheel well obviously not now <laughs> and it's slowing down it's selecting a lane there are two right turn lanes it's taking the one on the right okay so far so good we got a green arrow and it's turning by itself. Yeah, it's turning by itself. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, now, all right. So far, so good. It's following well. Now we're going to have merge traffic coming in from the right. And this guy's going to go to the right. Don't do it. There's a car coming. Okay, you can do anything you want now. Oh, now he's going to the right as well. Okay. And this guy's stopping to make the turn, and so are we. Now, I would have probably stayed in the middle lane. I, I know the traffic flow through this. There's so much traffic here, because with that bridge down, it's crazy. And it's still in seasons. We've got everybody from up north coming to Jupiter. All right, here's all the traffic. Now, this lane makes a right turn. Let's see if it wants to make the right turn onto Center Street or if it wants to get into the middle lane. Oh, no, according to the navigation, it's gonna go down um, Center Street, okay. It's interesting, it's not the way I would have gone, but um, it's okay doing the right thing. Jupiter is also known for the um, oldest structure in Palm Beach County. It's a lighthouse. I think it's like 150 years old or something. It's not that old considering how many places there are in this country that are older. But uh, St. Augustine was the first city in the United States, well, in North America. Oh, wow. Okay. It put the directional signals on by itself. This is very cool. And it's going to make the right turn by itself. Okay, over the railroad tracks again, over the river, through the woods. All right, we're going down Center Street. And it's starting to accelerate. It's doing, the speed limit is 35. It's set for a maximum of 40, and it's right now it's doing 28 miles an hour. Uh, yeah, it's matching the speed of traffic. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh, it's going a little faster now because the truck in front of us went faster. Yeah. 
I notice it leaves quite a bit of gap to yeah, do that. It, it really is, I don't know, I think it drives less aggressively than I do. Now, I've been driving for <laughs> 58 years. All right. No, take that back. 50, 53 years? or No, 58 years? I don't know. A long, long time. Let's put it that way. So all I can say is don't do the math, number one. But um, it's kind of crazy letting go and letting this take off. Oh, well, this car's turning in front of us. And it's slowed down. That's wild. And um, it's letting go of control is hard to do, especially when you've been driving as long as I have. Yeah, I'd say it drives more like a cautious driver who's kind of new at it and is over-anticipating the distances. So that's a good thing, I guess, because if someone cuts you off, it, do it doesn't get mad at them. It just avoids them. <laughs> I wonder if it gives the finger. <laughs> I don't know. It'd be well, nice I mean, to have that option in the windshield, <laughs> built into the windshield, right? Maybe you can automatically fart. You know, this car does fart, so maybe it does, it fart. yeah. <laughs> All right, the light turned green. We're going to go. It's going to go by itself. See, it kind of lets the distance of the vehicle ahead get a little bit more than normally you or I would do. That reminds me. There is a setting where you can have it drive a little bit more aggressively. But <laughs> this for is, now, it's good like this. <laughs> this is fine just the way it is. <laughs> the main goal is to get there without getting hit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's a little hard to trust it right off the bat like this. I guess we have to build up trust like we would in anything. Yes. Yes. And then there's a lot of question on liability at some point. I, that's, a, well, that's for, for attorneys. Yeah, that's for the attorneys to work out. Yeah. But <laughs> apparently right now the liability is with the driver Me. of the car. Me. Because so I'm still in control. If the car does make a mistake, then the driver would be liable for that at this point. At this point. Well, Elon Musk's plan is to have robo-taxis that are going to be self-driving. That is wild, and I never thought that would even happen, but while I'm testing out full self-driving, I'm saying to myself, this could easily happen. It's pretty well, crazy. I think this this free month of driving for everybody, self-driving, is all about getting that gigantic data pool to do what he wants to do for the future. Right. There's a reason he gave us, you know, the free self-driving. Plus he wants us to eventually buy it. And I forget right. how much it is. I'll figure that out later and I'll, I'll let you know. I, I know what it is. I looked it up. It's, oh, good. It's 12000 if you want full self-driving and 6000 for enhanced autopilot. It's, it's so you have awesome. a choice. And then, or you can just pay a, a $200 a month if you just want to use it once in a while, like when you're on vacation or something like that. That's a great idea. It is a good idea because you could get a lot of $200 months for $12,000 if you spread them out over just the time you're in an area where you're not familiar. Right. Okay. Now we're going to get into Indian Town Road. Indian Town Road is an exit off I-95, so it's a pretty busy yes. area. It is. It's busy, but it's not quite as busy as it has been because yeah. our prime season here is January, February, and March. And being that it's the beginning of April, uh, a number of the renters have gone back, but there's still a lot of people who own homes here. Yeah, because if so. they stay for six months, they be six months in a day, they become Florida residents and there's right. no state tax and there's some advantages. But don't come down here. Don't come down here. We're full. We're packed. No more room. Yeah. Stay where you are. And I've got a program to go on I-95, which is our main thoroughfare. And uh, we'll see how that goes. I want to see how it handles through some highway driving. Oh, and when you do take over, there's a message that comes up on the screen that asks, is, is there something you want to report? And then you can record why you took it off which is brilliant because, I mean, even though we're not beta testers, this is called the supervised version, but imagine if we give this information and explain why we took it off full self-driving, it's just more information on the database. It's 
mind boggling. And it's also anonymous. That's what they say. And I don't know what is anonymous anymore, but it's anonymous. But it's going to learn more with all of these people all over the country driving, driving full self driving. And it's good information for Elon Musk to know if nine out of ten drivers are doing the same thing to avoid something like that, then he's going to program that into the next version of this. Yes. Amazing. So eventually, you know, in years to come, all of the things that people do under adverse conditions will be programmed into the self-driving of this and, and make it even more reliable and easier to trust. So that's that's what I see coming. Now, people are like freaking out that cars drive themselves. I get that. I'm freaking out. It's doing pretty well, even with all this traffic. And if everybody drove the way this car is driving right now, it would be safer. It would be. And, and that's the thing that'll happen. In, as time goes by and probably well beyond my lifetime you'll see more self-driving cars on the road there may come a time when 90 percent of cars are self-driving and you know there'll always be holdouts there'll always be drivers who will say they'll never give it up and then quite honestly i would say the one thing i don't like about full self-driving is not driving and i know that sounds strange all right we're getting on i-95 here yeah um, we just passed some construction. And the reason I don't like full self-driving is because I love driving this car. Yeah, it is a joy to drive a Tesla. It if you've is. never driven a Tesla before and you're not used to it and you think that, you know, electric cars or, uh, I don't know, people have a, a feeling of, I know I had a feeling with electric cars and it, it was wheezy. You know, it was a weenie car. It just didn't have the acceleration that a gas car had and it was kind of, a mix between the two and it never really had performance on either side of it but tesla has blown that out of the water i mean yeah. the least expensive tesla which is the one we're in now with one motor is faster than 95 percent of the gas cars on the road well we're just getting ready to merge now we have to go from this lane to the left lane and then get into the first lane all right this is gonna this is kind of at its first merge. Ah, put its directional signal on. Ay, 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 it's merging and it's going to pass this truck and then merge. Ay, 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 merge, merge, come on, merge, merge. I'm not going to let it take over. I mean, I'm not going to take over. I'm going to let it do it. And it did it. Ay, 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 ay. It, it, it's fine. <laughs> it's just a little freaky. Okay. It's going 80 miles an hour. That's a little... I'm going to lower the speed a little. I can still do that with the wheel on the steering wheel. We're slow behind this car. See, now I would have already gone to that lane and start passing, but I'm going to let this car do what it does best, which is drive itself. It's a little nerve-wracking, but I've got my hands on the wheel. I'm ready to take over. If I just jerk, not even jerk, if I just move the, the steering wheel a little, hit the brake or disengage the, not auto, but full self driving, I have complete control of the car. So at any time I can say, I'm stopping, I'm not doing this. I wish it was going a little faster or changing lanes. Okay, now it put the left directional signal on and it's changing lanes by itself. I think it had to gather some information about what everything was doing first before it made the choice to pass this. Okay, we're doing 78. I'm just going to bring it down to like 77. The speed limit is 70. 70 here? 70. So I'm going to bring it to 75. Okay, now it should be slowing down in front of the car next to me, but no. It's going to switch lanes. No, nope. slow down because it couldn't go to the left lane because this car was there. So now it put the left directional signal on and it's changing lanes again. Ay, 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 ay. It's, it's amazing that it's doing this. One of the things about this is with all the sensors and cameras on this car, it's gathering data from 360 degrees all around the car simultaneously, where when you're looking forward, right. 
you rely on the rear view mirror and you can only see about a 180 degree span plus what's in the mirror. So you're really not able to see 360 degrees yourself. And so the car can make a decision better than you can as a person in, the, in this regard. Now it moved over as soon as that truck moved over and um, it got into this lane, which is correct because this left lane is the passing lane. You shouldn't be driving on it. So I'll try to tell that to everybody uh, in Florida. So it follows the laws where a lot of drivers don't. <laughs> Imagine that. I'm going to change the, um, the trip. Navigate to Gardens Mall because I want to get off here at PGA Boulevard. I hope I'm not too late for that. Let's see. We've got one mile. And he's got two cars there to the right. Let's see. We have to get off here. Now, the other thing is if somebody cuts you off, they say, and I've never tried it, obviously, that this car will react faster than you possibly can react. All right, now we have to get off here. Let's see what it does. Oh, wow, it noticed that the car in that other lane behind me got off the other exit. So it's moving here because there's plenty of room. This is crazy. I didn't even notice this guy was getting off until the car started moving over and saying, hey, there was another car there. Where did it go? Okay, let's see. off the highway. Look at this. Look at this. This is crazy. I think it's every woman's dream that you'd be able to just say go to the mall and it takes you there. Ta -da! <laughs> <laughs> uh, if it has a memory, it'll just get in the car and take you there. Everywhere. Yeah. Good thing it's not programmed to spend money. It's not? No. no. All right, I don't let's see if it makes the turn. I don't think Elon's programmed it. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's going to stop oh, at the yellow it light. Oh, stopped at the yellow light. Or you would have um, gone through I would have gone you through, gone through, through. <laughs> You're darn right I would have because I want to get to the mall fast. All right, I'm taking it off full self-driving. Mm -hmm. Now, this is interesting. Uh, we're going to be going on I-95 North. We got off of PGA Boulevard. We're going to go back up to Jupiter. Now, I would normally not be in this lane because I want to get on I-95 on the second entrance and this is usually backed up. So it's not that backed up today. So it's interesting that it stayed in the right lane. I'm wondering if it knew that if it was backed up, it would go. All right, it's making the decision to not get on I-95 South and we're gonna get on I-95 North. Turns on the directional signal on the ramp. Now, other cars can join us here from the left lane, but no one's joining us, so we've got the ramp by ourselves. I still, we got a car pulled over over there. Again, my hands are on the steering wheel. Every so often I have to put a little pressure on it so it knows that I'm paying attention and I'm still in control of driving the car. Accelerate it. And there's nobody on the left lane, so it's going to easily merge onto the highway all by itself. It's amazing. All right, now it's going again to the left lane. Uh, okay, I probably would have done the same thing. <laughs> are you enjoying your ride? Are you are you as afraid? Well, I'm, I'm gradually as I see what it does and traffic conditions and gradually building up a little more trust in it as would be expected you know the more it, it does this and does it you know safer than I would probably do it okay now it just went over to the other lane it's I'm gonna lower the speed and I lower the speed by turning the wheel on the steering wheel I'm going to go down to 75. Yeah, that's a good compromise. Yes. Can you see all the screen down here? Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing it's a good how part it, of it sees all of that. I'm trying to frame it so most of the time it sees the whole screen and enough of the highway. Okay, good. 
stationary. There are some cars coming up on the lane to the right of us. Yeah, and we've got two miles to go, so it's two not going to do anything erratic at the moment. Erratic. Let's hope it doesn't do anything erratic. <laughs> well, I know. you know, at some point it's going to want to get over, but it's got two miles to make that I know. choice. I know. Okay, let's see what it does. Let's see what it does. All right, the lanes are clear. I would have already started getting over. Yeah, I would have too. But let's see what it does. It's slowing down a little bit, which is interesting. And it says 1.4 miles. I wonder if it has something to do with how many miles it is to the exit. That's possible. It might calculate your speed versus the mileage to go and say it at one mile, then it starts to work its oh. way over. Okay, it's at, uh, oh, it's making the turn now. One mile. Just, yeah, one, yeah, a little bit more. 1.2 miles, and it says one mile left. There's still a car coming up on the right. We have to get in that right lane. Yep, and he's coming up a little faster than we are, so it sees that. Right, the car has passed us. And the lane is clear on our right, so. And there it goes. And there we go. So it knows the lane is clear to go. Seven miles from the exit. All right, now here's the construction. There used to be two lanes to exit out of uh, I-95 into Jupiter. And let's see what it does. Okay. It's, it goes, oh my goodness. It knew that there's only one lane available now. And slow down, and it's slowing down by itself. I, 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 it's doing everything right. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised. I don't know why, but I yes, am. It is pretty amazing. It is. Now, we're going to have to make a left turn rather quickly. See, this is all the construction. I don't know. Jupiter's just full of construction everywhere you go. I think uh, somebody once made the joke that the Florida bird is now the crane, you know, the crane that they use for construction. The yeah, Florida not Jupiter. as opposed to a sand crane, which yes. is a real bird. Yeah, see, the crane's up there. That's the crane. All right, now we have to get all the way to the left. And it's and doing it. It's doing it. It's actually and going over the solid line because that's a solid line that wasn't there before. Uh, yeah, that's true. You know, it's. So, oh, this is interesting. It slowed down for this guy to get in front of me. I'm not doing anything. Need some sod? Yeah. All right, now let's see. It goes, goes over to the turn lane all by itself. Let's see. And it should stop. Oh, it's going all the way. Nope, change its mind. It's going to stay over here for whatever reason. Yeah, this guy might be in for some trouble for transporting grass. <laughs> oh, there's always a Ricky joke on every trip. Yeah, absolutely. There has to be. It's, it a has to be. it's a trademark. It's a trademark. It's crazy the way this whole intersection is here. It sees all the cars on all the roads. It sees more than I can because I can't see what's going on here. There's a car in front of me. I don't know where it's getting that information yeah, from see? because it looks like an overhead shot, but there's no overhead camera. I know. So it must be deducing that from the 360 degree cameras. There's six cameras, by the way, looking out. There's a front, there's a back. There's two on each side that looks, one sort of looks forward to the side and one backwards to the side on each side of the car. It's Whoa, the top of the started moving go, by someone it wasn't go. paying attention. It okay. was. It so. was, I wasn't. <laughs> and that's a good thing about it, is if you lose your focus for a minute because you're reaching for something, yes. the car never loses its focus. Yes. So it may scare you because it's doing something that you're not seeing is safe, but it, it is seeing that it's safe. So that's one of the good things about it. Now, keep in mind, this is still not autonomous driving. You still have to pay attention. You still have to take control over the car. Yep. The car isn't driving itself completely. It's just helping you. We're coming up to the rotary or traffic circle. Yep. It's not a very busy intersection. Let's see if there are any other cars. Let's see if it slows down, first of all. It's supposed oh, to yield. Yeah, it will. And what I want to see is, will it follow the actual road path, or will okay. it cut into the brickwork? This is work? good. There's another car in there. Let's see if it stops. And it stops. And it knows the other car was going straight, so it decided to go around. And it stayed within the yellow lane. Yep, it did. Which is what you were saying. 
the sun. And it pulled through very, very well. Very well. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Matter of fact, this whole drive is impressing. Is it impressing you? It is. It's impressive that it does what it does. I know. It's. It amazes me. It's going around the little island there. And we're coming up to the 25 mile an hour speed limit. And it's slowed down. It's doing 28. See, now, one of the things I've noticed about its speed changing is it's not as gradual as I would do it. I would gradually lift my foot off the throttle yes. so that you don't feel any braking action. This, you feel the braking action when it changes speeds. All right, let's see if it stops. It's slowing down, and it's, it stopped a little sooner than what I would have thought. Oh, my goodness. Full stop. A full stop. Okay. I... Don't tell a police officer. I don't think I'd do a full stop at a stop sign. I think I'm only doing one or two miles an hour. Now it's slowed down a little by the crosswalk here. It actually did a full stop. Everybody in California, you're in trouble. You can't do a California stop. All right, let's see. It slows down. It's, it's so much safer. I can't believe it. It's driving a full stop. Look at that. Zero. Yeah, Zero even though there's nothing coming, it made a full stop. Yeah. All right, now this guy, oh, these cars are avoiding this pedestrian. Uh, okay, the other oncoming car is avoiding the pedestrian. That's good. Now we've got a couple of, it's slowing down again, we've got a couple of speed bumps, or speed tables as they're called. And it may anticipate, the, it's anticipating the speed bump. Yeah. That's amazing. It is. That I didn't think it would do. Oh, this is really weird. My camera's got lines on it because of the way the lights hit me. Oh, well. Looks like my little guardian angel is watching me drive. Yeah. Well, that's a product of the the phone camera. Yeah. You know, there's nothing you can do about it. Now, I'm going over a little part of the Loxahatchee River. And we're going to hit another speed table and then a stop sign. And at that point... We are going to complete our video. I certainly hope that you enjoyed your trip with us. This was pretty amazing. It was more exciting than I thought it was going to be. I was terrified of it, but it all worked out. And I'd love to hear your comments. And of course, if you found this video to be informative, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I don't know. Can it see? It can. Okay. It, it can. It can. <laughs> you can't see around the higher cars, I can, but it can. But, but if it, it can, so don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And the next time I do a video and it might be full self driving, you'll be notified. For Granny Tesla and for Grandpa Tesla. Grandpa Tesla. <laughs> Bye for now.